thank you for tuning in to Watch Sixto. My name is Sixto. Today is a review on a Tissot PRS200 uh, reference model T17.2.486.1. This watch was lent in to me by Timekeeper Watch. He's a cool guy. I saw this beauty sitting on his uh, display case. I was like, I want to review this little gem. Like I said, it's the Tissot. It's on a two-tone bracelet with the gold pushers, crown. Just the way it looks, it looks totally different. Can't remember, I think this has a... Yep. It has a rotating bezel. A little stiff. About a 60 click from what it sounds like. A uh, screw down crown. This uh, case back says there's a sapphire crystal, so take off the cover if I can. And let's see what we read. Sapphire. So indeed, this does have sapphire, which is pretty cool. This is what the case looks like. It's a uh, uh, polish with some with the brush uh, sides. As you can see, how brush. But let me. There it is. As you. You can see how it's brushed. Then you got the center. It's polished. Then you got the gold on the where there's coinage at around the bezel. The uh, bezel insert is stainless steel. How uh, they just put the black paint on the numbers where you can see 10, 20, 30, and so on. This is a 200 meter water resistant uh, chronograph, which is pretty cool. That they're uh, what they call their T Sport line. You got, let's see how it's on the quartz movement. Couldn't find out what movement they were using, but it's, I'm gonna guess it's an almost an ETA line. You got your running seconds, chronograph seconds. Then you, uh, your sub dial, you, six o'clock is your running, right, running seconds. And you got your minute at the, between the ten, the nine and, or actually the 10 and the 11. So let that run. Like I said, it's a stainless steel brush set with the, look like it'd be a split pen. Yeah or a push pen, however you call it. The T stamped. And also a stamped, uh, it's all stamped with the safety latch. Only problem is when you take it off, too easy to uh, pry off what you get for having a, a vintage watch-ish. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a vintage because they stopped making this or this came out what year? Yeah, I forgot to write down the year. I'll put it in here when I, when I get through the adding. But I think it might be close in the two thousands. But let's see what we get. Pretty decent snapback to it. It won't fit my wrist, but oh yeah, it has the diver extension, so you can give it that extra. There it is on seven and three quarter inch. It's pretty cool with the dial. It's like a silver-ish dial. 
kind of give it the mother of pearl kind of look. Right. Me personally, I think Tissot has uh, an array of of cool watches from literally the affordable to almost a luxury price. It's on the stamp end links or hollow end links, so not too bad. The measurements from the crown or the lug to lug, I have it at a 48 on the dot from in between the pushers and, and um, the 8 o'clock and the B2 o'clock. I have it at a 40. Then if you measure it from the 9 to 3 position with the crown, I have it at a 43.5. The thickness is the 12 millimeters. The lug width at 19 mil. The case back, it's a screw down case back. Also sapphire crystal, and it gives you what you can. Let's see, and there it is, sapphire crystal. And it says since 1853. And there's a little stamp. And water resistance 200 meters, stainless steel, all that. I actually like this one. Too bad it didn't fit my wrist. I could have gotten it for a nice uh, deal, but I'm not going to change up the strap for this one. I would rock it as is, but don't have the links for it, so I'm not going to buy this one. That's always a hard part when you go to your local jeweler and he has a nice watch that you would like to buy, but not enough links for it. So I guess it saves you in your pocketbook. On to the next one. I really appreciate you guys watching the, my videos. Let me know what you guys think about Tissot. If there are a, t a certain Tissot watch that you guys prefer. Leave it in the comments down below. Thank you.